Welcome back, this is Kenny. I was going to start my tutorial series this Friday, however, today's uh, Tuesday Atomic Shop update video, or uh, shop, kind of sucked. <laughs> so I wanted to give you guys uh, something here on Tuesday because I don't, there, yeah, there were no camp items at all in the Atomic Shop today, and that does not work for me. Sorry, it's just uh, some weapon and uh, skins and outfits and whatnot. So. Here we are uh, with my first tutorial video, and I will be categorizing these tutorials by theme, so that way you guys can reference back to them easily enough uh, in case you have a brain fart down the line. Today's theme is a, a more common known uh, one, how to, to do things with steel beams. Case in point, how to get it on the corner. It's a trick a lot of players know, but you know what? We're heading into the holidays here, and I suspect we're going to get some new players, and so I want to be sure to put these tutorials out for all of you guys joining us in West Appalachia. So how do you put those beams on a corner? Because if you try to, it just skips it. It'll go from barely off to the side like that, and so it's a little frustrating. So the trick is once you've built a two-story house, you place a half wall like so. Head back to your beams, and it allows you to snap it on the corner. Now, one thing I've not seen other tutorial videos uh, cover, so I'm going to cover it real quick here. If you look at the beam on the left, you'll notice the solid side is facing us. The beam on the right, the groove is facing us, the one I just placed. Now, depending on how you place this floor right here will dictate how that beam is angled. So when you're trying to build a really good-looking camp, Oftentimes, it's not so much the grand idea you have, the big structure or, or the style of it, but it can be those little details where if something's off, people's eyes are going to catch it, where if it's done right, they won't notice it, and, and therefore, it's kind of just more pleasing to the eye. So we're going to go ahead and fix that beam now by putting the floor on the side. We'll grab the beam to take it off, replace it, and now the solid side of both beams is facing towards us. So now let's say um, you want to go ahead and extend your beam down. If you put the uh, beam down into the ground and then go try to put your floor on it, it's not going to let you. It's going to say they cannot place item because it, it's intersecting within an existing object. So before you place that bottom beam, you want to place your floor, then go back to your beam, and that will allow you to snap it in like so. And uh, this is my little teeny house, a blueprint I have. I, uh, I love throwing this thing up in my camp, uh, in my workshops when I need to do my daily challenges. So I do recommend building something like this. Um, I've seen some, obviously, some much better ones uh, decorated and whatnot. So anyhow, there we go. Ta-da. All right, next up with the steel beams, a little trick here. So we have this staircase here. And it would be amazing if we could just easily stack them, right? Just like, pow, put it right there. But you can't. No matter what you do, it's not going to stack. However, you can place a beam, like so. And, then you, and you'll start to notice it does start to allow you to connect to it, but you still can't quite get it over there. It constantly snaps it to the opposite side of the beam from... The, the foundation staircase. So what we'll do is we'll place a second beam. The thing, the cool thing about these beams is you can delete them and the upper ones will stay floating. So now that that's up there, should, oh, there it went. Now we can snap it together. And you can repeat this um, as high as you can build your camp, which as far as I can tell, oh, of course I screwed that up. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I really screwed that up. Yep. See, now I'm gonna actually, uh, I'm not gonna redo the video because now I, I want you guys to see this. Oh, that's right. You can't place the beam down here. You have to start up here because if it's down here, it's not gonna snap to it. It'll pop to the sides. See that? So you can actually get this up to four, maybe five stories, depending on. Um, how high you really want to go with it. All right. There's that one. And be mindful as you're stacking these stairs to line the stairs up correctly. <laughs> it can be really frustrating when you've uh, spent time stacking a tower together and uh, 
you realize the stairs don't line up and you're hitting your head as you're trying to run up a staircase. Um, so, yep. And we'll just go ahead and... Oh, outside the build area. Okay. So, there you have it. And that's your tower staircase. Now, I will do a more extensive video on towers later because there are some tricks to, to these things that you should be aware of. Uh, but, but that just kind of wraps up the steel beam uh, portion of the tower. Oh, of course I had it off. <laughs> but as you can see, you, you can do that. So, you know, if there's any other tricks with steel beams, uh, please be sure to put it down in the comments. Uh, uh, other players, especially new players, join in the game. There we go. You know, they're going to want to see what we uh, what we can do, what we've discovered for over the past couple years playing the game ahead of them. So until guys, take care, and I will see you hopefully next Tuesday with a better Atomic Shop update. Take care, and I will see you in the wasteland.